Are you trying to decide if living north of Durango is right for you? Going to Durango. Uh. But you're still not sure? Well, in this video, we're going to show you the good, the bad, the ugly. We're going to be super honest with you and show you all the amazing parts of living north of Durango. And we're getting after it right now. What's up guys, this is John Burden over at Woosaw Properties here in Durango, Colorado. This is your first time to this channel and you wanna know everything about what it's like to work, live, eat, sleep, play here in Durango, then make sure to click that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so you're notified every time we release a new video. Now we're getting calls, texts, emails every single day from people wanting to move here to Durango and we absolutely love it. If you're even thinking about moving to Durango, make sure to give us a call, text, email, We've got your back when it comes to moving here to Durango. Hey guys, we are here at Glacier. Let's check out this really cool golf community that has stunning, stunning views from the majority of these homes as well as the golf course. So we are in Glacier and Glacier as well as Tamron, Tamron is part of Glacier, is in my opinion, one of the most stunning neighborhood subdivisions for views. Right, if you just look behind me here, I mean, you've got these incredible cliffs. And so they've got little uh, kind of neighborhoods within the subdivision, within the um, community of Glacier. So as you see, here's a gated community behind me. Um, we're up at High Point. This is Peregrine uh, Road that we're on. And this is the estates at Tamron that's right behind me here. So there's a bunch of little neighborhoods if you will tucked in here uh, they're really grabbing the views there is i believe there's a pool back in this subdivision and so there's three pools there's an indoor pool an outdoor pool as well as a second as well as a third pool um, back here and we actually have a listing up here in tamron uh, at high point that just sold um, just to give you an idea of what prices are right now selling at for these uh, condos, about 1,200 square feet sold, um, or I should say we listed it in the range of about 600. What's awesome about this area is they rent out really, really well for Airbnb um, because, and I'll just lead into the location, we're really close to Purgatory Ski Resort. Uh, we're about five, seven minutes down the road from Purgatory, and then we're about 20 minutes from downtown Durango. So you're not far from much at all as far as that goes. And then you are um, on a world-renowned golf course here. The views are just incredible from the golf course. You're just looking down the Animus Valley and you've just got these kind of mountains just popping over, uh, over each other. And so the views are really incredible from the golf course. Now you are, again, five to seven minutes to Purgatory. You're only a couple minutes to Haviland Lake which recently reopened. And then in the winter, there's an awesome snowshoe slash uh, cross country skiing trail that you can take uh, that goes around, or I guess it doesn't completely go around Haviland, but it's in the area of Haviland. You park right at the lake and you're, um, and you're on the trail there. And then you're within five minutes of hundreds of miles, literally of hiking trails here at Glacier. And then you've got a nice, really nice gym. And their gym is so cool because they do a good job of again, grabbing these sweet views from the gym. So like right on the treadmill, you're looking at really cool views. Um, they've got a, they've got some really good equipment too. A bunch of good treadmills. They've got um, Peloton bike. I think they have one or two in there. They've got a TRX set up. They've got, um, I don't, I don't know the exact term, but they've got the setup for Pilates. Um, they've got like a studio type room you use for yoga or, or whatnot for classes. Oh, in the winter, they have uh, cross country skiing where they actually groom trails here in Glacier as well. Um, so that's sweet. So again, you got cross country skiing here. You've got cross country skiing at Purgatory Flats, which is just up the road, um, real close to Purgatory and then you're close to all the amenities that Purgatory has in the summer as well. So that's got the 
uh, downhill mountain biking, the alpine slide for kids, a bunch of other kids activities. Um, you've got Twilight Lake, great fishing there, as well as, uh, you know, paddle boarding, swimming, all that kind of stuff there as well. Give you guys a taste of what some of these homes have for views. Look at those homes right over this ridge. And then they're looking right up there at that ridge as well. Gorgeous views. So we are here at Celadon. So this is a gated community, gated neighborhood. Um, and I'll start by talking a little bit about the neighborhood or about the area, I should say. So we are right off of County Road 250. This road is awesome. So the reason why I personally really like this road, um, it's really common and I love road biking back here and a ton of other people do too. Really common to see a lot of road bikers back here, especially on a Sunday or Saturday morning. As you can see, nice and forested, a little bit more shaded. And then as you turn this corner um, and get out of kind of this corridor, if you will, a couple miles down the road, it kind of opens up and big kind of green pastures, um, 30 plus acre lots over that way where it's real flat and you're looking at um, Missionary Ridge on one side of you, these red cliffs on the other side, and you're going south towards downtown. And then that road connects to, uh, to Dalton Ranch, just to kind of give you an idea of location. And that road also takes you all the way downtown. And so the location is awesome here. You're about 25 minutes from Purgatory. You're about, um, about 15, 16 minutes to downtown roughly. Um, and then this subdivision, just to tell you a little bit about it, it is a gated subdivision, but the homes are, this is a real luxury neighborhood. Um, homes are upwards of 1.5 and up and all on 35 acre lots. They have a big pond that you can fish in. Um, I believe you can paddleboard, kayak, swim in as well. They stock it with 20 inch rainbows. Celadon has a HOA, uh, $1,400 a month. What is really cool and different and unique about this HOA is it um, shouldn't say exactly that it comes with a caretaker, but in a way it does. And so a caretaker splits his time between each property uh, throughout the week. So you get him um, to, yeah, just help you with maintenance of the property. As you go along this corridor, this 550 north of downtown area, a lot of these really nice neighborhoods are still pretty close to the road. This one is not, it's tucked away back off of 550. So you just don't hear the noise as much. You're about less than 10 minutes away from Hermosa Creek Trail as well as Jones Creek Trail. And that goes for like 30 plus miles and then connects onto other trails. So we are now at the ranch. So I'm gonna start with the location. So the ranch is located only about 12 minutes from town and then about 14 minutes to downtown. You're about 20, 25 to 30 minutes from Purgatory uh, Ski Resort. And then you're only about 10 minutes from Haviland Lake. Now, as you can see, um, we've got some ponds in this subdivision. There's actually about 26 ponds. About 15 of those are stocked with fish, uh, with trout to be exact. Mostly all rainbows. There's a few browns in here, a few carp or sucker fish in here as well. And um, fishing is awesome, not gonna lie. And those fish are pretty big too. So I'll take you out on the gazebo, give you a peek of what this is like. Pretty cool, um, pretty awesome that they have a gazebo out here. Just looking at this incredible view behind me. And what's really cool about this is first of all, the location, uh, you're getting a lot closer to town. You're also really close to some awesome biking trails. Now in other videos, I've mentioned places like um, Hermosa Creek Trail, Jones Creek Trail, those are actually literally across the highway, across Highway 550 here. And so you cross Highway 550, you just go up County Road 201, and then boom, you're right on the trail. There's also camping there, and you're kind of in the pines in this trail, looking out kind of, kind of this big expansive view, you're in this valley um, where Hermosa Creek goes through. Got some amazing views from the majority of these properties. A lot of them are either on ponds or they're just around the corner from a pond or they're on open space. Now in a little bit, I'll walk over to some of the open space. They have 31 acres of open space um, nature preserve. 
here. And it's kind of this nice area full of cottonwood trees, trails going through. There's about a mile and a half to two miles worth of trails in there, um, walking trails. And what's really cool is it leads down to the Animus River and the Hermosa Creek flow, flows through uh, those trails, flows through those, um, flows through that nature preserve. And so what I love about this area besides the, well, I'm actually gonna get back to the location here. So we're just, I don't know, half a mile from um, James Ranch, which I was just alluding to or just mentioning. James Ranch is an awesome spot for burgers and um, just an outdoor, gorgeous, gorgeous scenery uh, restaurant. And then they do tours of just the entire property as well. All right, so we are at the entrance to the nature preserve. We've got these gorgeous cliffs behind us of Missionary Ridge. So you've got this view as you're walking over here and the view from a lot of these homes. You can kind of tell there's some, some homes right here behind me that grab that awesome Missionary, missionary Ridge view. And, and then it turns into dirt right here. And there's a few different trail routes you can take. So you can go up this way wraps around and then leads you right to Hermosa Creek and then runs along Hermosa Creek and then kind of goes into this nice forested area. And then there's a way that you can go left and go down to where you grab some incredible views and you're right on the border of James Ranch. And so I just love this area because you're just in these big cottonwoods, right? And then it's not just in the cottonwoods, once you get out of this area, it opens up and you have these awesome views and it's just kind of a lot more open. And then I also wanted to walk you over here to show you there is a storage area that is also um, part of the HOA. So you're able to keep between one and two uh, vehicles back here, it's just depending on the, um, the amount of vehicles that are here. Uh, so that way everybody gets a chance to put something back here if they need. And so a lot of people will put RVs, trailers, all that kind of stuff back here. And so that's really nice when you don't have as much space or if you don't have a three car, or four car garage um, back here. And then they've got some, um, yeah, just some great trails back here. Just some different options. Uh, again, it leads to about two, two-ish miles, depending on if you do both loops and kind of connect everything together. Um, again, some really cool views out here. Something else that's awesome about this neighborhood is you can cross country ski out here. I almost forgot to mention they had tennis courts and pickleball and a little half court basketball court as well. Here's basketball running from Bear Lake down to this little pond right by the road here. Check this out. Awesome. And they have this nice kind of waterfall feature up here. I think is incredible. And then here's the uh, little field that I was talking about earlier. I mean, look at this size of this thing. So you do want to be cautious. There are cars going by here on Highway 550. Um, but again, great fishing up here. Great fishing down in Fawn Lake. So there's Fawn Lake, Bear Lake, which are the two biggest ponds. And then there's a bunch of smaller, uh, smaller ponds. Right here, there are some other townhomes. So you got townhomes up here as you come in, some here, and then some a little further down the road. And the ones down the road further do a great job at grabbing those views of the mountain as well as the views of Fawn Lake. So those are really cool. And then what's cool about that too is if you're open to looking at a townhome, you're able to get into something for little less money than a single family home and still, um, still be able to live in an incredible place like the ranch. I'm not sure if I mentioned the HOA dues. So those are 2000 annually. Um, again, I'll just go kind of recap what that covers. So that's gonna cover stocking of the ponds, road maintenance, snow removal, um, maintenance of that 31 acre nature preserve back behind the ranch. Um, that's gonna cover, it's not gonna cover any like roofs or exterior maintenance on the property itself. Um, keep that in mind, but then it's a lot of grass in the subdivision that covers all the maintenance of all the trees, the grass, the sign in front, just all that, um, all that uh, property that is not owned by 
the individual owners of the properties in the area. Now we are at Red Rock Ranch. This area is really cool because it's got uh, more higher end homes, uh, really well forested again, just kind of like blue sky, uh, just a lot like the ranch as well. And now just to kind of show you where we are as far as location goes, we are just south of the ranch. It goes the ranch, Albrecht and Anamosa. Um, that's where there's the dirt road with a lot bigger acreage properties over there, horse type properties. And then we are just south of that. There's a little connector trail that comes right into here. Uh, this neighborhood is pretty small, um, but lot sizes are bigger in comparison to like Blue Sky Ranch, the Cove, the ranch, or most of the lots in the ranch. And comparison to all those, these lots are a lot bigger. Um, pretty high-end homes in here, really grabbing the views again. You've got um, just the same area. We're really close, packed together with, I shouldn't say packed together, but a lot closer to um, right around the corner from Blue Sky Ranch. So you're grabbing some of those same views of Missionary Ridge and of the red cliffs across from us as well. So you're in this kind of 550 corridor here um, where you've got cliffs on both sides of you. They also are bordering on Animus uh, Valley Elementary School. And so they've got a nice little trail that goes throughout and they've got a nice playground. Um, just looking at it, some soccer fields and basketball courts. They have even got a pull-up bar here. HOA is 1500 annually, covers snow removal, road maintenance, um, maintenance of all these common areas like these trees um, and the grass that's in the common area as well. You will see a lot of deer in here. We'll go on walks through the, the neighborhood and we'll see quite a few deer pretty frequently here. Um, the, uh, the noise they are mowing uh, behind me or across from me, I'll try to speak up a little bit. I just wanted to walk over here and show you guys the pond that they have in right in the middle of the subdivision. Really gorgeous area. Again, a lot of big trees, so there's a lot of shade. Um, in the winter, I saw a blue heron picking out fish from here because the water level goes way down because um, they're pulling from the Animus River for the irrigation water. And so again, just want to give you an idea. They got a good amount of grass here, kids to run around, just have a picnic, hang out. Um, do a little bit of fishing. So a few houses that do kind of back right up to this. So if you're lucky enough to catch one of these when they're on the market, kind of see behind me here. And water's brown right now. That's just because the um, because of the runoff. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of rain. So that's coming into the animus, and then it's coming into here. Um, but that's not very normal, and it's not too frequent. You really still can catch fish when it's like this. Um, just a little bit harder. And so again, just want to show you. There's this trail that goes all the way around it and doesn't really come right here, but that's the road. And then it goes through um, and then it goes straight through over to Anamosa uh, subdivision. And then that subdivision kind of spits you out onto 550 and comes out to the uh, convenience store, gas station, and there's a spot to get alcohol as well there. So you're really close to convenience store and that kind of thing. You're also fairly close to Trim Trimble Crossing where there's a bigger uh, grocery store there. They've even got a pull-up bar here. We're in the Cove. It is again in the Animus Valley. It is just bordering on Dalton Ranch and the Cottonwood subdivision. Um, so it is just north of Dalton Ranch. All of these homes here behind me are actually right on the golf course. So you still get that perk of those awesome golf course views. Uh, they are, as I'll show you in a second, they are right over, uh, right across from the Animus River. So some of these actually have views of the Animus River and these awesome red cliffs of Missionary Ridge. And then directly across from us, or not far from us anyway, is um, some awesome trails. So there's Stevens Creek, and then it goes up to Missionary Ridge Trail. And so you can climb up that, uh, up to the top of that ridge, and then actually climb along that ridge, or hike along that ridge. Um, so you've got some great trails right here. Uh, again, there are 
some awesome trails across the street and about a mile north of us. Hermosa Creek, Jones Creek. Um, again, those go about 35 plus miles back into the backcountry and connect into connect onto some other trails. Um, and so as you can see here, these homes have this direct access to the Animus River. And so you get a little view here. And this is uh, a spot where I've actually seen bald eagles several times. Um, nice trail to run on, to walk on, bring your paddleboard down to, and put your paddleboard in at the river. And then you can take out up, um, let's see, up at Oxbow, or really close takeout to only do like a 30 minute, 20 minute um, paddleboard would be to take out up at Dalton Ranch. So look at that, you're right on the river. And really nice structure if you like to fly fish. You've got private fishing access here as well. So you've got great access to the river right here. Golf course is literally right there. You've got this nice wood chip trail right here. Um, and so we'll show you this wood chip trail a little bit. And, and again, I gotta point out, because of these huge cottonwoods, and then the access with the, um, the river right below the cottonwoods, and that ridge, um, all those trees over there, you're seeing a lot of nature come in here. We'll see deer in here quite often. Um, on these dead branches up here, we will see eagles, ospreys, all kinds of different birds. Um, so this area is really cool. This is an 11 acre nature preserve back here. Uh, there is an HOA, it's 450 a, uh, 450 a year. Uh, so pretty nominal fee. Uh, it's a really small subdivision. There's only, I don't know, 20 homes, somewhere around there, 20, 30 homes. And so it's a great subdivision to be on the water, to have a little trail, to have some nature behind you, uh, have some grass area where you're not having to pay for 20 acres, but you have, uh, well, I should say, to be exact, you have 11 acres right behind you. So you don't have to pay for 11 acres, but you get it right on the river. So it's this nice medium ground between not having to uh, maintain all this land and yet you're still right on the river as well. So really cool location as well. You're literally within walking distance to Trimble Crossing, which is our grocery store right up the road, as well as um, they have a spot for alcohol as well. This subdivision is, just to give you some perspective, is about 30 minutes, 35, 30 minutes from Purgatory Ski Resort, um, 12 minutes from Haviland Lake, uh, and you're about 10 minutes to downtown Durango. All right, now we're about 14 minutes north of downtown Durango in a gorgeous community called Dalton Ranch. Uh, now I wanted to show you this community first because it's definitely one of the bigger communities in the Animus River Valley. That's this area's, that's the uh, commonly referred to name of this area. Now you can kind of get a view of the pool behind me. Um, Dalton Ranch is really gorgeous setting again with some awesome views all around it. And so again, they have a uh, pool here. They've got tennis courts. They've got a little uh, playground for kids and then of course, the awesome golf course, which is uh, really what they're known for. And so again, you can see that behind me. Um, got some really cool ponds that go throughout. And then really nice restaurant. We came here for my birthday last year. And the restaurant, in my opinion, is one of the most scenic views from any restaurant in, in the county. The homes in here can definitely reach upwards of 2 million. Uh, you're generally ranging in that like million to 1.5 range and uh, really scenic views again from the homes. The homes do a really good job of grabbing the views out this way. All right, so in this subdivision, another thing to really note is if you have kids, um, there's not as many homes. There's not barely any. I think I've seen a few that have fences, um, but as a whole, there's no fences and the homes are just opening up to this big uh, golf course and these stunning views. Um, so I think they just don't want fences. It can hurt your view and whatnot. Uh, I'm sure that's part of the HOA guidelines. 
And so, as you see behind me, you can kind of get an idea of what some of these houses are backing up to. And kind of the style of these homes, these homes have a really cool, like, modern mountain style. I don't know the exact word for it. Um, just saw a fish jump out here. And so there's definitely fish in here. So in my opinion, the location of this neighborhood, this subdivision is incredible. So first of all, you're right in between the mountains. So you're again in what's called the Animus River Valley. You're in this valley with ridges and mountains on both sides of you. Uh, so on the other side of me here, you go over that ridge, there's Falls Creek Ranch. That's a neighborhood. They've got a private lake. They've got stunning views as well. Um, they've got all about acre lots. Again, that's on the other side of that ridge. And then just to give you context and where you're at, the other side of this ridge, Missionary Ridge is what it's called. Um, you've got some really small neighborhoods, uh, luxury neighborhoods that are higher up that have some of these views. And then you've got Edgemont Ranch, Edgemont Meadows, um, and Edgemont Highlands. And so that's just to give you some perspective if you're looking at a map. And then, like I mentioned earlier, you've got some hiking trails right there. You've got County Road 250 that's going behind us. You just go down a short road and you're on County Road 250. Um, that is known as the Golden Coast and stunning, stunning properties. You've got 30 to 40 acre properties up there. And then behind us here, again, we're facing the west, so you get a feel for where we're at. You've got 550 that leads into Dalton Ranch. On the other side of that, that parallels, parallels that, that's County Road 203. And you've got some really cool properties in there as well. Um, smaller acreage, it's usually acre to two acre properties, sometimes a little bit more, um, depending on that. There's properties on both sides. And then there's some newer subdivisions in there as well. So I just wanna kinda of give you a feel for where you're at, where you're sitting. Um, from here, we're roughly 30 minutes away from Purgatory, uh, maybe a little bit less. So Purgatory Ski Resort. In the summer, they've got Twilight Lake right there. They've got um, some really cool stuff, outdoor stuff. They've got the downhill uh, bike park, some awesome biking, some awesome downhill biking, and a bunch of other stuff for kids to do out there. And then there's a ton, a ton of hiking. Come on, Greg! You're gonna love hiking! There's a trail that connects to the Chicago, to Chicago Basin. So if you're looking to do some, bag some 14ers, uh, do some overnight camping, there's, uh, you're only 25, 30 minutes away from uh, the trailhead to do that. And, and of course there's some shorter hikes too in there. Some really cool ones actually. Uh, when was it? Last year. I went, I think it was in the spring, saw a huge bear print. So it's pretty cool. There's some cool stuff that you'll see out there. And then from here to town, you're only about, um, you're about 13, 14 minutes away from downtown. The other thing that I really love about this location and just the neighborhoods in this area is you're really close to the hot springs. It's literally across the street. So you just go west from here, just go out onto 550, cross that light and you're literally right there at uh, Trimble Hot Springs. And yeah, the hot springs are awesome. They just did a massive renovation of the hot springs. And it's pretty cool. Um, they have a guest pass you can do. I'm trying to think how much it is. Right around 30 bucks for a day guest pass. All these homes again are right on the golf course. All these homes are pretty good size too. Um, a lot of them, you saw those ponds that we were talking about earlier. A lot of them are right on some of those ponds, which I think is just epic, right? Um, you've got your water, you've got your golf course, you've got your views. Um, you've got a lot of stuff. All right, a few other things to note about Dalton Ranch is you're close to the highway, right? So you're gonna hear some highway traffic. Um, it is tucked back a little bit further. Most of the homes are not too close to the road. So that's a huge benefit. Um, and now I am actually walking right next door to Dalton Ranch. I believe it's part of Dalton Ranch, but it's called the Cottonwoods. And this area is really cool. I'll kind of pan around and show you the, the property. So you're getting a little bit more acreage over here. Personally, for me, that's something that I really like about this 
this area over Dalton Ranch is I love having a little bit more land, a little bit more space. Uh, and so that's something that's pretty sweet about this area. You've got these awesome views from these homes here. Um, and a lot of these homes are still backed up to the golf course. And so again, to give you an idea, context, we're in the Cottonwoods. We're just at the corner. There's the gate there. And so Highway 550 is just right there. I can't hear it much. I can kind of hear it. Um, but that's something to keep in mind in these neighborhoods that are really just in the Animus River Valley is you're going to have some traffic noise just depending on where uh, your house is situated. And so that's something to keep in mind as you're as you're looking for homes in this area. If you're tucked back in off of 250, County Road 250, which is that way, kind of the east side of this area, uh, you're definitely going to have less traffic, but there's still that that road, uh, much less busy than 550. But still, still something to keep in mind. Now we're getting calls, texts, emails from people wanting to move here to Durango every single day. We absolutely love it. If you're even thinking about moving to Durango, make sure to give us a call, text, email, days, nights, weekends. We've got your back when it comes to moving to Durango.